What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please follow my Instagram at Russo Lifts just in case something happens to this YouTube channel. You can follow, message, and you can watch my daily story content on Instagram. I'll see you there. What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate everyone who's thumbs up, subscribe with the bell on and probably still getting unsubscribed from this channel. But today I wanted to do a clout video. Woohoo! Let's let's get all excited here. We saw what happened with the last video. If you guys go on my channel, look at all my videos, you can see which one the YouTube algorithm decided to trend. Anyway, seven time Mr. Olympia Phil Heath is not competing in the Mr. Olympia. And for those who are going to the Olympia, I will be there. I will be there at the Enhanced Labs booth, so you can use my discount on Enhanced Labs. Don't take and throw that up, and that I will be at the booth. If you want to chat, we can chat about whatever you want. Be sure to hit me up, and we can kick it off. But I will be in Orlando for the Olympia. I'm super excited. For those who don't know, Enhanced Labs has Big Rammy under their belt so i will be doing content with big rammy i will be able to possibly interview him but i will at least get him in a vlog on video with me so i'm so blessed and humbled to be able to meet rammy and rammy is the fucking goat and it's just it's mind-boggling to me it's mind-boggling to me but i will be at the olympia and be sure to come by and say hi but basically i was looking forward to Phil Heath coming back to fight Big Rammy to get his title back. Because if those who don't know and don't follow the Olympia, basically Phil Heath had the Louis Marco term bubble gut. You know, he had stomach distension issues from what Phil says. It was from a hernia, right? He had hernia issues, which I can personally believe when you're training at a pro level that... You're putting all this pressure on your stomach, and obviously I'm not saying that the insulin, the peptides, the GH didn't play a role. I'm just saying that it looked like the way his stomach was moving along that it was more than just like, oh, like he's not going off all the shit before he steps on stage. It's more like, oh, there's definitely an issue that needs corrected. So Phil Heath got the surgery done. I'll have pictures that Dante will throw up that shows Phil Heath's stomach is back to normal. Now, Phil Heath has arguably the best genetics and insertions ever, ever. You know, my favorite Mr. Olympia look ever, and I'll have Dante throw up a picture, is 2009 Phil Heath. 2009 Phil Heath is perfection. I don't think it gets any better than 2009 Phil Heath. That's when, in my opinion, his physique looked the best. Now, here comes Big Rammy. Here comes Rolly Winkler. Here comes the big dogs with shit tons of mass. Then Phil Heath has to get much bigger, right? Phil Heath feels the need that if he's going to compete with Rammy, which when Rammy was competing early in his career was like 290 on stage, you know, Phil Heath thinks he's going to look small next to Rammy on stage. So... After 2009, you know, 2009, Phil Heath is perfection, super aesthetic with mass. You know, Phil Heath went the mass route to just keep his title. So that led to the stomach issues, most likely, and the hernias, blah, 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 blah. All that has been fixed. Phil Heath is back in action. All that has been fixed. But just breaking news. So Phil Heath is coached by Haney Rambod and on Rambod's podcast. Phil Heath, seven-time Mr. Olympia, is not doing the 2021 Mr. Olympia from the bottom line because he doesn't need to. Rambot adds that Heath will be forthcoming with more details about what other things he's working on, but reclaiming his Mr. Olympia title is not one of them. Rambot makes it clear that Heath never pulled out of the Olympia but rather, he never planned on doing it. So, Phil Heath pulled a Kai Green. Phil Heath used to bitch about Kai Green doing that all the time. And here's Phil Heath doing the same shit. 
And there's nothing wrong with that. I get it, right? Kai Green will say he's jumping in the Olympia the whole year, never signs up, but he gets all the clout, the exposure off the Olympia. I think he's entitled to that. Phil Heath used to get angry about that. Phil Heath used to be like, oh, well, Kai is always saying he's going to do it, but never does it. The way social media looked, it looked like Phil Heath was going to come back and sit on his throne. Because I think when an on-point Rami and an on-point Phil Heath go head-to-head, that's a significant battle, right? Significant battle, and it really comes down to if Rami comes in super shredded. If Rami comes in super shredded and beats Phil Heath, GOAT status. If Rami doesn't come in super shredded, he's going to lose against Phil Heath. No doubt in my mind, Phil Heath, although he's came in with the stomach issues, like he never comes in not on point as far as conditioning, as far as fullness, muscle insertions, etc., etc. There's a reason why he's called the gift, but we won't get to see that this year. So I'm super bummed. I don't even know who's going to challenge Rami. The way Phil would, I was really looking forward to like, oh, can't Phil come back? Does Phil still have that fire? Does Phil still want that Mr. Olympia title, even though he's already got seven of them? Like, he's already beat Rami multiple times. Would he want to dethrone Rami? And is he able to dethrone Rami now that Rami's looked like, you know, he's got the pieces of his puzzle put together? He's coming in conditioned. No one's seen muscle mass like that ever in existence of bodybuilding ever besides like what? Marcus Rule. Throw up a picture of Marcus Rule, Dante, and throw up a picture of Rami. Like there's very few freak shows ever to walk the earth. There's Ronnie Coleman and, you know, but like as far as Rami being 290, like super shredded and shit with the aesthetics he has, the small waist, it's just mind boggling. Like, Rami still has a waist that's super tapered, even at that size, which is mind-boggling, and his legs are like, you've never seen legs like that ever, in my opinion, insane amounts of muscle mass, while maintaining his aesthetics, and then you have Phil Heath, who has arguably the best muscle insertions ever to grace the Olympia stage, obviously, that's subjective, that's my opinion, but... You know, his track record proves true. You may not like Phil Heath, but he's still seven-time for a reason, right? So, yeah, that's basically my thoughts. Phil Heath is no longer in the Olympia. I'm bummed out. Please comment down your top five picks below. I will be making my top five pick list as I think more and more. I definitely want to research and try and get glimpses of how these guys are looking before I put my money where my mouth is on my picks, but... Phil Heath is not in the Mr. Olympia this year, which really sucks because I really want to see him back on stage with his stomach fixed because I I get why Phil, like, you know, he got so much hate for that stomach, which he couldn't control that shit. He's just putting off that surgery. Like, he's just trying to get to the bag and do his job, and he can't control that stomach. But now he's got it under control. He's got it under control. It's tapered. He looks great. And he could easily win his eighth Sandow. Will we know in 2021? Nope, we're just going to have to wait next year or see if he becomes a Kai Green and just says he's going to do it every year in shape all the time, but just never does it. And he goes down the Kai Green route of just, you know, using the Olympia for like a cloud boost only. But, you know, Phil already built his brand from the Olympia. He's already Phil Heath. Everyone knows who he is. Does he need the Olympia? No. Has he, he has seven fucking Sandals. Would it be nice for him to get number eight? Yeah. It would be nice for him to get number eight. But moving forward, I really hope to see him back on stage somewhere so I can see what he looks like with after his surgery. And I wish him nothing but the best. But I will see you guys in my next video.